And uh, Nathan Turner said to me, I want you to see the vids. The vids, I said, I beg your pardon. He said, the videos, Roger Delgado's videos. I said, fine, that's just what I'd like to do. Because it makes, you know, makes it easier. And he never showed them to me. He never produced them. Yeah, this is true. He never went any further. Went it, you know, out of his head, I guess. It never went out of mine. But I was experienced enough not to worry about that. And it's just long ago when, you know, not many of us had video machines. And I just don't suppose Roger's videos were on sale even then. Uh, it was all a little vague, but I'd like, I would have liked him to take me into one of those small video rooms at the BBC and said, this is how you do it, watch this. But he never did, he never mentioned it again. Just mentioned it once and that was all. But as I say, I was fairly confident about what I was doing because I'd been in the business a long while and I wasn't in awe of it. I wasn't in awe of Roger, I wasn't in awe of the show. I was just happy to be part of it and uh, set about it, it the way I set about everything else that I do. But it would have been nice to have seen the videos. It would have been a kind of shortcut, maybe. Uh, but I never saw them. <coughs> so you basically had to build the part from scratch yourself? Sorry? You basically had to build the part from scratch yourself? You have to build the part from scratch yourself. <laughs> 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 so, sorry, Mark. There's nothing the matter with Mark's diction at all. It's this Paul. It's the acoustic. It's the he knows, you know. <laughs> it's, 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 What's his name? Hildebaker. <laughs> yes. Cynthia. <laughs> yes. You just, you know, you do what you're told by the director. Incidentally, did anyone see, was it Logopolis this morning on Sky? Did anyone see it? I think it was Logopolis today, UK okay, Gold. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yes, of course. Today, Saturday, yeah. <laughs> If it's up to Logopolis, it ought to be getting quite interesting soon. <laughs> yes. Mark yes. I, I tell you what was so nice, if I can just continue that. Uh, Tom was so marvellous to work with, because he, he, he directed us so much. Uh, <laughs> he, we had a guy called John Black direct my first one, I think. You know, as an actor, you get so much from the producer, he gives you a few tips. Nathan was always saying to me, more steel, Ainley, more steel. The director usually, when Tom was around, said very little. <laughs> <laughs> he would say, uh, I want you to come in very feebly. He'd say, I want you to come in that way and go and sit by that table there and say your lines then, and then get up and go over there. And he'd start to write this down in his director's memoir. And Tom would say, no, I don't want Ant to do that. I want Ant to come in that floor and sit in that chair there. And, and the director would say, oh, right over, Tom. <laughs> He brought out his notes to himself. And that's really what happened. And so Tom was a great director. He, also re he, he rewrote all the stuff, but he was an enormous help to everybody. I liked working with him. Not a carries. When you're signing autographs, you find that some come around quite a lot. And there's a high gallery content. <laughs> what that means, I don't know. Uh, I had this, uh, a phone call from John Nathan Turner. Asking me if I'd come and see him, and I thought, he's going to ask me to play the master. So I the master. And I was really disappointed when I found it was a doctor, actually. Yeah. He's kidding me, I think he's... But he said, I'll, I'll let you have a lot of tapes to look at. And he did. <laughs> I suspect that means he probably knew you played the master pretty well, but he thought I needed all the help I could get. <laughs> so I sat through, I think there was something really mean about it, he found the longest ones. I had the War Games, <laughs> um, which, is, which is very good, but it's 93 episodes long. <laughs> so each episode is a week. <laughs> um, I had um, Pyramids of Mars, which is a thumpy good story, Talents of Wen Chiang. There was a Pertwee story, there was a... Well, there were stories from all the doctors, and I had pilot tapes, and I sat through it a lot, but I still played it the way I wanted to. Very <laughs> <laughs> well, too. I was very disappointed we never had a real strong confrontation story together. 
because even though we did the Rani and we did the end of the trial, they weren't really master stories. And I always think that, just like Holmes and Moriarty, and Sylvester and Tweety Pie, <laughs> there are classic confrontations, and I think when it boils down to it, the most exciting stories, when the Doctor is that he's put on his metal the most and tested the most, is in confrontations with the Master, and I, I wish we'd have one. Maybe we'll have one one day. <laughs>